It may be easier for you if the person taking your smear has a full understanding of the particular issues that you are experiencing, but there's no necessity to disclose. Everybody who attends for a smear appointment will be given a basic level of information. You may even want to handle the instruments so that you're familiar with them before we use them. Remember a smear test is a collaboration between you and your smear taker. You should consent to the procedure and you should be sharing the control with them. If you do feel able to tell us what has happened to you, we can make extra provision for you. For example, we could make a double appointment or we could give you the last appointment of that clinic for the day so that you don't feel as rushed. If you want to tell us something but don't feel able to say it, try writing it down on a piece of paper or card and handing that to us so we can read it. You can always bring someone to accompany you to your smear test. This person can act as your voice or act as your advocate and so it's very important that you feel confident that you can do this. Remember that your GP service can do the smear test but also most family planning clinics, sexual health clinics and there may even be a well woman clinic in your local hospital who can do the smear test for you. Every woman feels embarrassed during her smear test, but if you think there are certain things that make you particularly embarrassed, if you feel you're scarred or damaged from the rape or abuse, I can only reassure you that your smear taker does not register these things. And if you feel more comfortable, if you disclose them to them before they examine you, that might make it easier for you.